Hello and welcome to this review of the 38-inch 2.1 soundbar D6 from Vizio. This product features a minimalist, clean design with a small footprint. It includes a 38-inch soundbar, a small yet powerful downfiring subwoofer, and a somewhat useless remote control. On top of the soundbar, you get a few button controls, volume up and down, Bluetooth, source selection, and a power button. There is no screen on the soundbar, but instead Vizio uses a few vertical LED lights to indicate if it's turned on, and simple things like changes in volume. The remote control itself is very small and has a variety of buttons, but without any screen to interface with, I found it not to be very useful or functional, and I only found myself using it for volume adjustments. It's clear that Vizio wants you to use their SmartCast app, available for both Android and iOS devices. It's a decent app, and you can control virtually everything about the device with relative ease. I like that it comes with a basic, yet functional EQ adjustment system. The default zero settings for both music and movies are quite decent out of the box, but I found the trouble to be a little too harsh and prefer it turned down a little bit to about negative two for music. Surprisingly, I found that the presets for both music and movie mode are actually different from one another, and I found that music mode really sounds better for music, and movie mode sounds better for movies and TV shows. The device connects to your Wi-Fi and uses Google Casting for better audio quality than Bluetooth. For a smart device, it also does a great job at staying on your Wi-Fi, and is much more reliable than other smart devices that I've used in the past. This app can also be used for your other Vizio products, such as a Vizio TV if you have one. Now, why should you trust me in this review? I define myself as a budget audiophile, and one of my hobbies is music production. My desktop setup uses a 2.1 system with professional monitor speakers and an additional subwoofer. My fun listening headphones are JBL Everest 700s, but I use studio monitor headphones from Ultrasone when mixing and mastering music. My home theater system is the Andrew Jones system from Pioneer, which CNET rated the best budget sound system you can buy. It comes in around $1,000 when you add in an AV receiver. For comparison purposes, I arranged a demo by playing the same song on the desktop setup, the home theater system, and the Vizio soundbar. I recorded all of the following audio with the AT2020 condenser microphone from Audio-Technica. Unfortunately, due to mic placement, ambient reverb, and the nature of a directionally front-facing condenser microphone, it's hard to accurately capture what these sound systems really sound like in person. However, I've done my best to represent them honestly, and I'll provide notes for each.
For the price, the Vizio soundbar is an incredible value. Whether you're looking for something to stream music with or looking to improve your TV sound experience, the Vizio has got you covered. More expensive sound systems will outperform it, but for the money, the Vizio is about as good as it gets, both in sound quality and in features. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more reviews. Take care.